Indeed, it is back to school time, everybody. And you know, this might be your kid's first day back, or they could already be a couple of weeks in. Here's the thing, if your kids are starting to get kind of the back to school jitters, it's okay, it's, it's understandable. That's right, uh, pediatric psychologists say feeling some anxiety ahead of a new school year is common. Mm -hmm. Back to school anxiety is totally normal. Um, a lot of children experience it. Um, some typical signs that your child may be experiencing back to school anxiety. Um, the most notable, obviously, is if they verbalize feeling anxious about it. Um, another sign might be if your child has uh, more nightmares, maybe their sleep is a little off. Now, to ease anxiety at the beginning of the school year, doctors encourage parents to first help their children figure out what's causing that anxiety and to validate their feelings. They say dismissing their child's worries or fears can actually make matters worse. Now, if your child is anxious, doctors say it's really important for parents to work with their children and avoid letting them stay at home because they're anxious. One of the worst things that we can do when a child has anxiety is to um, help them avoid the situation. So if we have our children stay home, if they're feeling nervous about it, their anxiety will actually get worse and it will get harder. So it's more, more important to arm your children with the skills that they need to manage their anxiety and not let them stay home. Good advice. Now, if your child continues to struggle with anxiety, doctors say it may be time to seek further help from a mental health professional. That's completely fine as well. So mm -hmm. just kind of uh, check in with your child and see how they're doing. Yeah, and she had great advice. Notice if they start to change their patterns, right? Anxiety, mm -hmm. you know, can lead to sleep problems, eating problems. So yeah, those are some signs that your child may be working through something.